Tom, is it fair to suggest that's a bit of a frustrated Fulham dressing room tonight? Yeah, I think so. I think we, we played well, we well played very well at times. Um, I think they started brightly, but um, to lose the penalty that wasn't a penalty is always yeah, a kick in the you-know-what. How convinced were you that it wasn't a penalty? Have you had the chance to look at it again yourself? At the, at the time, I wasn't. I, I was unsure. Do you know what I mean, but the ref made the decision. He must have I thought he's in contact. But then I, just, I asked him on the pitch, look, just please make sure they check it. He said they checked it, and then he said the second half to one of our players that it wasn't a penalty. So frustrating. Yeah, it's frustrating because it goes to obviously other people, and it's there to make the correct decision. He said Diop's not really. He hasn't touched him. Uh, Nunes has took another step and then gone over, and then you lose to something like that at Anfield, which is, yeah, frustrating. And we're we're trying to climb the table as high as we can. Given this is a squad that's depleted from one or two of its leading players at this moment in time for various reasons, did the chances created tonight deserve better for you? Yeah, I think so. I think we got stronger as the, the game went on, and then. Um, as you've seen, the second half, there's, there's only one team looking for, that was going to score. We missed a couple of chances. Maybe we could have done better. But um, look, you're pushing a, a, a top-class team all the way. So we, we look, we've, we've made massive, massive strides this season um, when people didn't expect us to. So we can take a lot of positives from that and yeah, move forward. You've alluded to sort of my next question there. I mean, it was a big season for you back, promoted back into the Premier League. How far has this club come since its last visit to the Premier League? <sighs> enormous, enormous. I think... Um, Listen, if someone said we'd be above for Chelsea after 32, 33 games at the start of the season, people wouldn't have believed us. But um, we're in the top half and we deserve to be. Honestly, with performance, performance-wise, we, we've played really well all season. And um, yeah, just like I said, a newly promoted team taking Anfield to the 90 odd minute, one 0 down, pushing to score. It shows off how we've come. Just finally, if you can maintain this level of performance, can that see you to that strong finish over the remaining games? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've, we've just said in there, we've got, I think it's four games left, four cup finals. We've, we've set our own targets and, in our minds and, and goals for, for the football club, and we're looking to do that. Tom, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Marco, is it fair to suggest you will be frustrated going away from this game tonight, taking nothing given your performance? Definitely. Um, I think the... Our boys, they deserve much more from, from the game. Um, our fans um, as well. We, we knew that it would be a tough, a tough game. And without the ball, uh, we had some problems. Um, we didn't control well the, the midfielder line. We didn't were compact enough. They, they arrived in certain areas inside our block that we, we wouldn't like to, to give them. And we could they give all that space. Um, even so, from I think last first 15 minutes, 20 minutes from ourselves, they were really good. We created some good chances. The first, they had a good chance in the first minutes, but we had straight away with Harry Wilson. Um, he could finish instead of pass that ball for try to pass for Vinicius. Um, until the 20 minutes, we we did it really well. After that, we start to give the ball away. After you know that their counter pressure from them, the reaction when they, they normally lose the ball is really strong. Here at home, and um, we lost some balls and we created some problems for us. We lost a little bit the confidence. Um, but I agree with you definitely. All the game and overall the game, I think we deserve much more. And it's really difficult for us after when we lost the game. We lose the game like we lost with that penalty. I think I know that what I are going to listen the next few days that is our season. Blah blah blah. blah. I'll be clear. It's embarrassing when. <laughs> When we right now in football you lose a, a, a game when one penalty like that. Um, clear no penalty, the player start to dive and after himself that should have left left leg in, 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 in our player. Um, and after okay, mistake from the referee clear and what VR is is doing for us is difficult to understand again and because it was really embarrassing. Do you think that's a decision that VAR have got wrong or the referee has got wrong? In your opinion? Both? Both? First, because if it's not a penalty, first is the referee that made it wrong, clear, made it wrong. And after, worse, because the VAR made it again. It's still been a strong season for Fulham, as we discussed before the game. If you can maintain this level of performance over the remaining games, is that the momentum you need to seal what would have been an excellent season for back again in this league? We are going to fight. We, the only thing that I can promise, and um, I did it from the first day I joined this football club, that you are going to be competitive, you are going to fight, uh, we are going to, to play, you are going to, to face and to match all our position sides. It doesn't matter where you are going to play, uh, if at home or, or away. And I think we showed this, after, this evening again 
Um, of course, it's a, it's a tough moment for us in terms of squad, a lot of injuries, band players as well. The, the moment, last two, two, two months and a half, they have been tough for us in this situ situation. Even some decisions from the, the referees, they have been tough for us as well. But we are here to fight. We are here to fight. We are not... We don't give up. We are here to fight and to embrace the challenge and to play and to, to, to try to improve players every time and to to correct what we did wrong because we did some things wrong this, this evening as well that we have to improve clear from our our performance. This is what we can control and what I can control. We are doing. We are going to do our our best definitely because we have four games to play. Uh, we have many. We have our targets there to achieve and we are going to fight for it. Marco, thank you. Thank you very much.